hey guys this is gossip and reactions marie's take this topic could be a little bit uncomfortable to some people and some people are gonna prove me wrong and it's okay let's just have a conversation the entitlement of biracial kids in america now we have two different kind of biracial kids we have biracial kids that come out really light-skinned, you know, with curly hair, long hair. And we have some biracial kids that come with light skin but kinky hair. So you know you have some of us in you. We also have some biracial kids that is dark skin, but with good hair. So there was a mix. When they see you, they know you mix with something. But we have a group of biracial kids that take more from the white side than the black side. You know what I'm talking about. We're talking about Mariah Carey. If you close your eyes, you will think she's white. <laughs> but she claimed to be black. Okay, fine. And we have some, like OJ Samson's daughter, that looks completely like a, a black child from two black parents. You know, some of them take more from the black side some of them take more from the white side but when we look at a certain scenario a certain situation when it comes to britney rayner that is out there talking about she had 33 plus men and allegedly and we also have drea michelle that is going out there and we have chantelle jackson we've known now that she about it two to three kids from um, Mayweather, which is uh, somebody who's financially stable, somebody who was engaged with her. So there was a certain move that women make on, in life. You wonder why they make those decisions. And again, we have to go back a little, see why all those movement activities are happening amongst biracial kids with a virgin of coming closer to the white side than the dark side. Why I'm going with this, you have to pay attention. Britney Runner has this petite shape, cute looking thing. She's entitled. I'm cute, I'm beautiful, I'm everything, you know. I want to go after the basketball or the football. We have Drea Michelle. We have a record of biracial kids that think they are all that and they go after our basketball players our football players they go after the money it seems like just like um tyree said when um he married his wife that is ex-wife now which is samantha lee something her mother say she hit the jackpot it seems like when those biracial girls were born their mothers allegedly raised them to be with athletes, with actors, with um, people with money, people that has money, people that can not only marry them so they can become financially stable, but also make sure they do a certain things for the whole family can be eating well. That's my opinion. You can prove me wrong. We also have athletes that also go with regular black women. Kinky hair, nice body, nice shape. You know, we deal with it. We have LeBron James, his wife, beautiful black woman, giving him three beautiful black kids. But again, to go back to my point, I felt like those biracial kids that take more from the white side than the black side are entitled to a certain things. We have Britney Renner. Married with this football, uh, this basketball player. She had a mission. She go in, married, have a baby, divorced, two hundred thousand dollar a month. She has a baby, child support plus whatever they give her for being his wife or whatever time, and dumped the men. So her mission was to never be with these kids for a long term. Her mission was never to take care of this man for a long term. It was just to go in, accomplish the mission. And when it comes to dark skin or pure black, or let's say Caribbean or African-American 
woman here married the guy we married the guy for love also when it comes to the money it'll be great to be able to to live rent free but i feel like when it comes to those biracial kids they are entitled and those athletes are falling for them like dead flies they are falling for them oh she's cute her body is everything her hair is everything her looks is everything because they are a mix of black and white they take apart from the black culture whether it's the body shape or their future and their face they have something from both sides so they become to those athletes perfection you know they looking for those girls like Tia and Tiny. Her mom is white, you know? So those people are married rappers, are married um, athletes, actors, boxers, because they are entitled to a certain things. 50 cents had this son with this black lady. Things did that work out. That's a different story. But now he's with this Hispanic woman, I believe, uh, Kobe Bryant, with all the respect and love we had for him. He married Vanessa William, living in, uh, God knows, to this woman. We have those athletes are looking for those biracial or looking for those women, a specific kind of woman. Whether the woman treat them with love and respect, they still trying to fight for those women. We have this crypto investor. That was erased by his girlfriend, a white girl that threatened him many times over and over. He still stay with that woman because black brothers to feel important, to feel a certain way, they have to be seen with the other kind. I remember uh, if it's, I think Chris Rock make, made a joke about when you see a couple walking on the street, a black couple. You would think they're not even together because the man is two blocks down and the woman all the way down as if they are not together. Brothers don't appreciate a real sister. Don't treat them with love and respect. But when you see a biracial couple, the man holding this woman's hand to their life. And that woman usually, with all the respect and love I have for all my audience, is not so attractive, is not well kept, heavy weight, everything, but that brother felt like they are in power because they hold a white girl hands or Hispanic girl hands. They feel like they are doing their thing. They are over the world because they are dating outside a race, giving them different kids with different um, skin and, um, you know, skin tone and hair texture. Even that little one, what's his name? Oh God, he's all over the place. Um, oh God, all those actors are looking for biracial mixed kids to have their kids coming out a certain way. It is sad, just like back then, they had the, you know, they had the light-skinned person working inside during slavery and the dark-skinned one and the cotton field doing the hard label i feel like we still follow that footstep these days where the biracial the mixed kids has a better opportunity here in america because not only they like skin not only their hair is different but more doors open for them whether they are educated or not you can fight me on that you can we can have a conversation on it but it happens every day drea michelle on a housewife we have Brittany Rayner. Those girls have a certain shape of body that they feel like, okay, I own the world. I have what it takes to go with any man because of how I look. Where on the other side, a dark skinned sister, a pure black, whether it's Caribbean or African American, don't have that kind of attitude or don't have i mean look what happened look what happened with uh, to this girl that was with uh travis kelsey for five years the girl gave everything she had she has a nice body she works out and i didn't end up with nothing do you see where i'm taking this end up with nothing after you give this guy everything you know so at the end of the day we have to think about it carefully why those biracial kids 
has a go ahead to do whatever they want and at the end of the day it's not like they respect our black brothers no it's not that they're cooking for them the black brothers willing to sacrifice everything they know from home they are willing to take it and say oh it's okay to come home the house is not clean it's okay to come home the children are not well kept it's okay to even come home she's not well kept just to have that woman next to them do you see how disgusting this can be but at the end of the day we have the sisters we are sisters i had the struggling to find somebody you know to be able to give them the life that they were used to at home where their black mothers were giving them everything a hot plate of food making sure the house is clean but they go outside a race not getting that and they are okay with it because they want to be seen in the public eyes that they are dating a biracial woman that they are happy and behind the scene they're not happy they are not happy you know so again i am bringing this topic to show you some mentally tyrus gibson ex-wife now we regret it divorcing tyrus because she doesn't get the same publicity she used to get going to you know award shows with tyrus this is the wife of tyrus she wants to go back because she missed that kind of that kind of lifestyle you know dressing expensive you know living in a lavish nice mansion she doesn't have that anymore you know so when you see those biracial kids are uh, in such entitlement of life dating guys that can give them everything they wanted they parents saying we hit the jackpot because you dating a uh an actor an athlete their life will change forever I want you to do my do me a favor before you leave any dirty comments to me go see all those basketball players football players actors to see how their wife who is dating biracial who is dating pure black and why some of them are being divorced and why they jump to those girls that are biracial before you prove me wrong because i have seen it i have heard it those athletes rappers actors always have a biracial or an outside culture as if hispanic are taking over now we have uh, white are taking over now they come in they have a mission get married have a few kids and have a monthly income coming in look at the kardashians supposedly she's a billionaire uh that's what they say uh She's a billionaire. But now she has four kids for Kanye, divorce Kanye, and have this money coming in on a monthly basis. This woman will never be broke. One thing I see black women do not learn, but they are taking our men away from us. They are settled down financially, have a generational wealth for themselves while we are plunging down. We need to learn. Angela Simmons, don't just give your body to a fool like your daddy and not getting anything out of it. What are you doing? What are you doing? You everywhere in social media showing nice stuff and you broke it just doesn't make any sense again let me know how you feel if i'm wrong it's okay we are having a conversation but i see how it's going by way show or other race are entitled when they are dating our men and they're not even taking care of them like the king they're supposed to be they don't get a hot meal the, the place is not clean the house is not clean but it's okay as long as they are being seen in public with a by show or an outsider which is white or european or asian they are good to go subscribe and let me know how you feel